Yeah, we are so excited about Associated General Contractors of Vermont on our list of presenting sponsors now here at the Airdow Podcast, live from the ASB Financial Studios and Fly on the Wall Productions, North Main Street, Barry. We've got an absolutely beautiful day. And we have a young lady who is uh, right next to me. How old are you now, Taylor? Uh, yeah. 20, 23. 23? Yeah. Come on, are you serious? Uh, maybe. I maybe. thought you were like younger mm-hmm. than that. Um, Taylor Thompson. I can't really um, remember. I might be, yeah, yeah turning some, 24, I think. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, welcome to Aired Out. My God, I, you've never been on here before. No, I have not. <laughs> but you've seen your buffoon of a father on aired out many times of course and now you're you're sitting in for him now because he's what is he getting shy on us now is he's too scared to come in here he's too scared to, be, to face me uh, is that what's no happening? he's uh trying to transition to more behind the scenes i think is that what's is that what's going on yeah yeah turning into more of our just our matchmaker making the matches happen okay so yeah. pairing up pairing up names pairing up fighters yep. across the whole region i mean not oh, just yeah. all in new england we have people from uh a lot of people from New York right now coming over. Um, we had a few from Connecticut, Massachusetts. We have New Hampshire people coming. So any Canadian fighters? Um, not this time. We were gonna have uh, Connor ride out a while back, and he's from Canada, but yeah. he never came down. So yeah, I remember that. It was it was the, not the last one. I think it was the one before that. Maybe yep. yeah, yeah, the one before that. Yeah. Uh, in case you're just tuning in, this is Taylor Thompson. Uh, the owner of Donnie Burke Fight Promotions. <laughs> a little bell over there. Well, I, I, have to, I, I have to make sure that I plug that real good because if I don't, Rex is going to beat me up. I don't want that. <laughs> um, so, so this is, it really, though, is it's a team effort. It's Team Thompson. Right. It's Hunter, it's you, it's Rex, and it's Mom. Tell me about tell me about mom. What role she plays other than getting the hell out of the way of of Rex on, <laughs> on fight day because the guy turns into a, just an absolute freak. Yeah, I mean the whole week we're all kind of stressed out, but she really helps with getting everything organized when um, when I can't. She kind of keeps all of the accounting stuff together and keeps all the receipts and the money. She's our little money and inventory person right now yeah. and uh during the fights she kind of runs around and makes sure all the tables are set up right everything's all pretty and running smoothly and does a great events. job yeah she does a great job i'm really proud of everything that she does because i know she gets super fragile frazzled yeah she even forgets to eat i'm like mom can't do that we well, can't be doing that of course but she's uh she does a good job she's so cute yeah, she is. She, she zips around and, and she eye rolls plenty about re- Rex, uh, which is always fun to see. <laughs> um, Hunter, uh, that guy busts his ass. Your brother. Oh yeah. Uh, he's he works his tail off. He does, especially when we're putting up the ring and stuff. He gets his little crew together, get them all together, and he's yeah. running the show. He gets a lot of his friends to help us during the fight so he does help with the staffing and stuff okay. they'll do the um like they'll go and get the corners ready when it's their time to fight they'll make yes. sure everything's all to get wranglers that's what it's, it's called wranglers yeah wranglers yes yeah. i have asked <coughs> hunter uh so many times over the years on way in night and fight night um where's dad and I just get this deer in the headlight. Yeah, because no one knows. No one knows. No, we were supposed to have like little headsets so we could all communicate, but you can't hear anything in there. Yeah. Too loud. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. He's running around and then Hunter's running around right. and mom's running around and I'm really in one spot. Yes. And everyone comes to me and I'm like, I don't, I don't know where they went. Yeah. I have no idea, but I can help you with whatever you need. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need a, a GPS tracker. Yeah, we do. On little, Rex. Little collar one. Uh, he says, I better be uh, more scared of you. So you, you've you you've done this before. You've done a little bit of fighting. Oh, yes. I mean, growing up, me and Hunter did like uh, martial arts, like Taekwondo. Hunter did a little bit of like judo when he was little with dad. Yeah. 
We did wrestling. I mean, I only did it for like a year in high school. Okay. That was probably enough for me. Spalding? Yeah. Okay. Spalding wrestling. Mm hmm. That was fun being the only girl on the team. <laughs> Are you kidding? Really? No, I was the only one. And I don't know why. I mean, it was fun. If I had more girls that were my size, I feel like it would have been yeah. a lot better. I mean, it was nice, though, because having to wrestle with all the guys made it so much easier to go against the girls that had sure. only been wrestling girls. Sure. Did they, did they give, this is going back a couple of years, but did they give, did these guys give you a break a little bit on the mat? No. No, of course not. No, they tried, basically, it's either go hard because she's a girl or lose because you're not good enough because you went against a girl. So when it was the guys' turns, they're all, so I'm really short. Yeah. And like, I don't know, You're thicker. Petite. Yeah, petite. Right. But so when they would go, they would try and do all these moves. And I'm just like, OK, well, my legs are bigger than you. I can just sit here and just not you're not going to do anything that's going to move me and pin me onto the mat. So for a while, I didn't get pinned, which was cool. Mm. I mean, first year. So would have been exciting if I had um, pinned more people than I did that year. But <laughs> <laughs> wow. Was 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 Rex at, at any of these? Rex's dad, by the way, everybody. It was was Rex there? Was he, was he? Yeah, at, yeah. He would come to um, some of the home shows that we would have. We would have the home wrestling um, where it would be two teams from two different schools or whatever would come in, and we would yeah. each take turns, and whichever one got the highest score by the end of the night was like the winning uh, team for that. Sure. Scrimmage. I don't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Match yeah. Right. About, yeah. Spalding did a really good job this year, though. Holy, holy crap. Yeah, yeah, they did. I know. Everyone was freaking out about it. I know. I mean, holy shit balls. Every, we haven't, we haven't had that in forever. Yeah. It was so nice to see. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Steve Rich, you know, yeah, I mean, he's pulling his hair out. What's left of it? Um, <laughs> but, but, but then what, what happened? Because, um, you know, th things were, were shifting gears quickly. And Rex was kind of moving into starting Donnybrook Fight Promotions, and I, I, I think it was, I, I think I got a call from him, and he's like, "Oh my God, Taylor, ah, ah, she passed out, and ah. he's freaking out, and your mom was freaking out. You, you, so you got into the cage up, up at the auditorium. Mm -hmm. This was kind of like the beginning of the beginning here. Well, I mean. Besides doing the Taekwondo tournaments and stuff, um, I did the wrestling because I signed up for an MMA event. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So and I hadn't had really any wrestling experience and I thought it would be good to go under Coach O'Mara because he helped with the rich the rich kids, yeah. Jared and Steve and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I did that. And that, that was seven years ago, last weekend. I I remember that. How, <laughs> how you were sixteen? Sixteen. I remember. I got my braces off a couple weeks before. My God, yes! I forgot about that part. <laughs> I forgot about that part. And you, you got into the cage. I know your mom like <clears throat> skipped a, a few heartbeats that night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and for the record, I mean, Dad did too. I, I think he soiled himself, but you know. He was like, "Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, she's good. We're all good. Yeah, we're good." But he 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 was, yeah, he was pretty nervous. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, he was probably more nervous than I was going in there, which is weird. I didn't really have any nerves. I was like, "This is normal." Yeah, I've seen people do this all the time. I'm just going in there to punch someone in the face or kick her in the stomach. You so know what? I mean? So what happened? You 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 got into the cage with another lady. With yeah, Cat Rooney. Okay. Yeah. Our uh, Chris Rooney's um, wife, I believe that is. Yeah. Yep. What happened? Um, so we got in it, and it lasted almost, it almost got into the second round. Um, she was throwing punches right at my face. Uh, I, blood was pouring out of me. I didn't feel it, though, because you just, I'm not good at blocking. Taekwondo, no. It won't really? teach you blocking at all. Mm -mm, not for your face, anyway. Mm -mm. I was kicking the shit out of her in the stomach. Yeah, and I went to go and try a kick her in the head. Yeah, because that was a game plan. We were like, go low, go low, and then try to fucking knock her out. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so that you wouldn't expect it. Right. Yeah, I went right over her head. I went way too high. I went over her head instead of. So she turned around and got you. Um, 
So I went over and I spun around and we went back at it. And then I went for a takedown. Dad meant clinch, but the, he's the, like, the only person I could hear the whole time I was I'm in there. I'm sure. I'm sure. So he meant clinch, but he said shoot. Mm -hmm. So I shot in <laughs> and I went to go and take her down, but I got her too close up to the cage. Mm -hmm. And she was up against the cage. And once she sunk it, like I was perfectly fine. I couldn't breathe, yeah. but I was fine. I wasn't panicking. I was trying to knee her, um, pull down a little bit. But once she sunk that in, everything went phew like an old TV. <laughs> really? Yep. <clears throat> Quickly. Yep. There was nothing I could do. It was like she got the blood right off. It was like phew. She put you to sleep. Yep, she did. Right before the second round. So then what happened? What do you remember? Uh, I remember waking up to Stephen McKinstry holding my legs up, shaking up, shaking me, and Dad ugh, over me being like, you're okay, you're all good, and I'm giggling. I sit up fucking laughing. I'm like, I didn't win. With your face all, all, <laughs> with, with your face all bloody. My face, I didn't even know my face was bloody until after the fight. <clears throat> of course not. No, I didn't know. Cause my face was totally numb until someone, like, till after it all wore off. Um, and I was downstairs, and my face started swelling, and my face, it hurt to touch my nose. I don't think I broke it. Yeah. But it was definitely, it was all swollen, all here was swollen, because she just kept hitting me right in the same spot. But I was giggling. I had a headache, probably had a concussion. Probably. <laughs> I, I think Rex still has a concussion that's everlasting. But, but, <laughs> but you, this is, you know, your dad is so, and mom are so proud of you for that night, for that, you know, it, it, and I'm sure there's some parents that are like, what kind of father would allow his daughter to get into the cage and bash the shit out of another girl? Right. You know, there, there's plenty, there's plenty of people like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but your, your dad doesn't doesn't want you to skate through life um, unprepared. No, I want to be able to handle myself if I need to. Yeah, and he loves that. Mm -hmm. He loves that, no matter what you do, whether you, whether it's if physical or, or otherwise. Mm -hmm. so he, he wants you to be able to be successful with whatever you take on in life. So mm -hmm. was, was it that night that you said, to hell with this, with, with, with getting back in the cage? I, I want to do something different? Um, no, I probably would still be doing it. But like after that, I got into soccer. Okay. And I believe this is what started it. I have no idea. It's been going on for a few years. But I've been like really sick. I had a soccer ball hit me in the stomach. And we've been dealing with that ever since. So, All right, so I'm, I'm so confused here. You got a soccer ball that gets you in the stomach, but but you were you were in the cage, getting kicked in the in the in the stomach, and, and kicking someone else in the stomach. And, and, no, not but, quite. But it's the soccer ball that creates the problem. <laughs> not quite. Um, yeah. So I wasn't prepared for the soccer ball. <laughs> I was supposed to hit right here, Understand. and my stomach was not tight at all. So when it hit, it hit like diagonally, and it hit so fucking hard i don't know if it did something to the nerve there yeah, right but it's so you you had some issues after that yeah yeah i lost a lot of weight very quickly wow i wish the soccer ball could hit me in the stomach huh Raylene? <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so, so this created some some issues for you yeah uh are we still dealing with those issues um they're not quite as bad i've okay. been trying to deal with it um as much as i can yeah I have like this weird anxiety medicine. I think it, yeah. that's supposed to help at night or whatever. But yeah. we've gone through a neurologist, a gastroenterologist. Wow. I've been checked for cancer. Wow, everything. Yeah, my white blood cells are all fucked up too. They have no idea. They're just like, eh, fuck it. So at this yeah. point, goddamn soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, not, yeah, not anything else, you know. But the soccer ball, uh, that's incredible. All right, so. You, you basically, uh, and, and when dad got this going, I, did he have like a family powwow and say, look, the only way we're going to do this Donnybrook fight promotion thing is if we're, we're all together. I can't, this is not going to be a one man band here. I need everyone to get, is that, is that how it, no, kinda, no, 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 um, how'd it go down? No, it was more like, um, Hey, 
So, uh, Kathy's selling her business, and so I was thinking about like maybe buying everything that goes along with it. Not not the name. She's selling her name to someone else, but like we could do that. Yeah. And we we're like, oh, we're gonna do that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I have the money. We can do it right now. So we're gonna do that. And I think, well, if you uh, if you guys want to do it, and then we're like, I mean, do we? We we don't really have a choice right now. It kind of seems like you really want to do this. Yeah. Like that's this is what well, we're gonna do. Rex. So you, you at that point we jumped on, but you can't tap tap the brakes on that old fella. Sometimes his mind gets working, and no. then he's just like, "Zoom, get out of the way, go." <laughs> so so you you got on board with this? Yep, yep. Slowly, it's been taking me a while to build up everything. So you you kind of uh, naturally took on the role of the imaging and the promotion and the graphics and. Yeah. All that and the, the social media, mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, that's a ton of work. It. Oh my God. Yes, I don't do it as well as I feel like I should. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I try to get at least two posts out a day because that's what it says to do and yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. with everything going on, I have to make the posts, make the images, make sure that the pictures are nice, make sure that they're all cropped and there there's nothing weird going on in them or anything so you're designing these incredible posters grab grab me one of those right there out of the out of the sleeve uh i'll show it on camera here but i mean you just so you've designed all this this yeah 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 what what do you what do you what what software are you using using uh, what adobe uh photoshop photoshop yep i use photoshop well i have all of the and you use some some premiere too uh, yep, yep. I use that Premiere uh, Pro and Rush. I start in Rush and then go to Pro. And sometimes there's uh, graphics that I want to make really cool, like yeah. the titles and stuff. So I have to go through After Effects and Illustrator and then Premiere Rush and then Premiere Pro and then go through the encoder if it's not what the what I need it to be, like an MP4. How badly <clears throat> would your dad screw this up if, if he had to do this? So I gave him the iPad once to record something, and I said, don't delete anything, okay? If you mess up, it's fine. I can fix it. Simple instructions. Don't delete anything. Press play. Just press play. Go. Like, if even if you fuck up, don't press pause. Just keep going. He screwed it up. He, He pressed pause, and then he tried to delete the ones that he fucked up. And then what other a, things were deleted, and I was like, <laughs> <"Woo-hoo-hoo>, <laughs> what are you doing? What a freaking moron. I mean, can he just take the direction from his daughter and do as he's told? Oh my God. He can't for the most part. Like, if I need stuff from the fighters and stuff, he'll get it. Like, um, they're, uh, where they're fighting from and yeah. some of their fight poster, fight photos. That's right. what it is, fight photos, yeah information like that we all have our our skill set yes he has his yes communication mm-hmm. mine my communication is not the greatest i'm yeah. really bad at public speaking most of the time doing a great job right now yeah, surprisingly yeah <laughs> there's you no know, people looking back at you that's why but you 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 do all and you're creating videos too mm-hmm. which is the premiere side of it i'm guessing yep and then you have to incorporate uh, audio with that too, and yeah. and edit all of this. This is very like, this is complicated shit. I yes. I stay away from that stuff. It took me forever to learn how to do all of it. Oh yeah. Like I learned it by myself. I learned it from watching videos. I learned it from reading articles. I was just like, mm, yeah. like, in my free time, right? I was watching YouTube videos of how to do oh, my work. <laughs> yes, uh, you know. I, I've tried. I tried Premiere for a little while, and um, yeah, Premiere Rush is so much easier. You, that's just like the simple: click here, move this here, trim this down, yeah. send it. That's well, maybe you can show me how someday because I, I tried Premiere and I got probably eleven, twelve minutes into it, and the language started flying. My blood pressure went through the roof. Uh, I was throwing things and it, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine Premiere Pro is not easy. I still have trouble figuring it out. Like I tried to, I can't even remember what I was trying to do, but I remember I was trying to make like lightning on a specific thing. Sure. 
I was losing my mind. I was like, they make it so easy looking. Yeah, on the YouTube tutorial. And then I do it, and it's all cockeyed. Yeah. Right. (laughs) Yeah. No, but I mean, what you're doing is is great stuff. Let's talk about some of these fighters coming. I I can't believe it's Saturday night. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about uh, the fact that you can watch everything uh, pay per view from the comfort of your own home or your. You know wherever you want to be but l- let's talk about some of these fights uh let, let's and we're going to talk about tickets too um but but l- let's let's get into it break it break some of it down for me um so we are actually going to have a lot of thai fights this time okay so probably won't be going to the ground very much like not as much grappling a lot of punching in the face this time okay good yeah <laughs> good. Punch um, him in the face <laughs> Keep going. Don't listen to me. Um, blah, 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 blah. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, like, uh, Kira Lee's coming back. Yeah, she um, fought for us last time against Paige, and holy smokes. Ooh, that was a close one, too. That was a bloody fight. Amazing. That was re- really good. I enjoyed watching it and taking pictures of it. I was yeah. like, holy smokes. Kira had, that, Kira had that de- demented grin on her face the whole time with all the blood coming out of her. Image. I, well, she was enjoying it, obviously. I know. I know. She's good at it. <laughs> so, so Kira's back. Who, who is she going to be paired up with? She is going against, I don't I don't want to fuck it up. I think how you say it is Ziomara. Okay. Uh, Ziomara Rosado. And um, it's going to be a tie fight again. Okay. It's going to be at, I think it's one... 35 all right it's either 135 or 145 i keep mixing these two female fights up yeah, right uh, here no, but fine um, <laughs> and then we have with the other ladies what, what is that so we have priya sin and she's coming from saratoga muay thai which uh don walton came from okay. he's uh from the last one that we had yeah um yeah and then she's going against Lindsay bloody valentine yeah bloody valentine i know she's done a lot of fights so it'll be exciting to see her in the cage she's been working hard she's been posting videos and sending us messages and stuff it's really helpful like because then we have more content that we can share show these fighters off yeah right right i love it i love it uh liam carroll that's going to be one that uh i just i just can't wait to see him fight i know he does such a good job the and last one he he was uh he was not there. No, he wasn't at the last one. The he one was at the one before. The one before was wow. Yes, that was a whole five rounder. Amazing. That went on forever. Mhm. I got Remember that one, Raylene? I do. That was my first time ever going to the fight. Yeah. That was a good one. That yeah. was that's a good fight to watch. Yeah. I got over 700 pictures of that one, I think. So. Just that one shot mm-hmm. or that one fight. Yep. So Liam's going to be fighting who now? Um, so we had him going against Darnell Parker, but I think Darnell had an injury, so we might have to replace. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. Again, I am not the matchmaker. I yeah. don't. Yeah. And and that's the nature of the biz. A lot mm-hmm. of these fighters, uh, th- they could get injured at the last minute or uh, they could have, you know, something really serious go on in, in their lives. And right. they've got to back out at the, at the last you know, a week or so, or and sometimes within the hour. Unfortunately, it would be a lot nicer if they could give us heads up so we could, like, have a backup just in case. Sure. But life happens, so we get yeah. it. Yeah. It's not anything that we can control, really. Right, of course. Uh, again, nature of the biz. Mm-hmm. Uh, so do we have a, a pairing for Liam Carroll yet? I, th- I think so. I think so. I'm not entirely sure. So we don't want to drop any names yet. I don't know. I'm not going to drop any names. Right. I would have to confirm that with the matchmaker, Rex. Yes. Um. <laughs> and the fact that we have some professional fights. Oh, I know. Is just. Super it, exciting. Uh, yeah. I mean, my God. I mean, to, to have a, a pro fight in central vermont is is just amazing my god now that we got everything all sanctioned it is a pain in the ass sometimes to get everything all together and licensed and make sure it runs smoothly but um it's definitely a lot more safe for everyone in the long run right and just um 
it makes it so that we can have pro fights like that. We can have pro MMA, pro Thai, like pro. I say pro Thai, but like it, Muay Thai kickboxing, it's yeah. like the same thing for people that don't know what Muay Thai is. Tell me about this pro fight. The pro fight that we have going on is going to be pretty good. We have the local fighter, Bruce Richards, <clears throat> again. He's coming back for another fight. Everyone, he, everyone loves him when he comes on. We, he's, he's amazing. He's got a bunch of fans. He's been he's around amazing. forever, so um, he's going to be fighting. I love watching that guy. He's going to be fighting against Cody Zappone out of Enzo Gracie, Latham, New York. Okay. So that's going to be an interesting fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, th these guys, a lot of these guys haven't met each other. No, not at all. No, they're from uh, different states, typically. Yeah. At least these guys. Uh, Friday night, many of them will get a chance to meet each other during the weigh-ins. Yep. They'll do their face-offs and weigh-in and get to see everything all set up and take pictures. And you, you're going to be doing all the pictures. Yep, I do. I take all the pictures and I will post them right after I get home. Uh, Mom is saying that we do have a replacement for the Liam Carroll fight. So yeah, I, it wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, yeah, I I'm pretty positive about that, but I'm not. I don't yeah. have any. We're gonna make sure anything, Liam so. gets in gets in the cage. Oh, of course. Yeah, he's um he's actually he started his own business too. He's uh he's got this whole clothing going on. Teep Nation. Is that what that? it's called? Yeah. I, I was just gonna say that boy can dress up, Mac. Mm -hmm. My God, some of the pictures of him. Mm hmm. He does a good job. Yeah. He um I haven't gotten to take any pictures of him. So he grac graciously got a photo shoot done and sent me his pictures. He does a really good job. Um, Friday night, he's going to be on the damn microphone with me. Yeah, you should. No matter what. <laughs> I'll you find should talk him. to him, yeah. Um, so uh, anyway, th these, these fighters are going to be meeting each other Friday night. They're going to step on the scale. Uh, they're going to do a face-off. Mm -hmm. You'll get photos. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's it's also all up at the Barry Auditorium. It's also an opportunity for the public to come up. Yep. No charge. Nope. Absolutely free. Come up. Bring whoever's with you. Yeah. With you. Take pictures. Take record of pictures, your own. Meet some of these fighters. Mm -hmm. You'll know who they are because they walk around like yeah. fighters. <laughs> like fighters. I do not look like a fighter. So when you see me, you'll know <laughs> that guy right there is not a fighter. Uh, he's a media guy. I don't know. Uh, you could put on a. You think so? A mask and get in there with a no. little singlet and everything. I sumo. Yeah. Sumo. Go Maybe not sumo. Go for the ankles. What a luchador? Is that what it is? <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so so what's uh, it, how many fights do we have? How many pairings do we have? Do um, we know? I, it's it's a full card. Yeah. So I think we had ten. We might have had a drop. I think we had a drop. So we're at nine right now, but it's still pretty full. Okay. Yeah. A lot of exciting fights. Those Thai fights are going to be good. All the female fights that we have um, yeah. are going to be uh, Thai fights. Oh, I forgot to mention the other female that we, the other female fight that we have, which is Jessica Ortega versus Adina Hornstra. Okay. So we Adina Hornstra, right there. That name. That I know. Sound, that sounds mean. It sounds like she could kick someone's ass. Don't tangle up with Adina. <laughs> uh, I think her, um, her husband i think it is now is also like a professional mma fighter so they kind of do it together okay. stuff like this and uh jessica ortega is from team recon where matt proben came from yeah so this is this is gonna be wow. a banger of a fight is is proben uh, when's he coming back he's uh he's actually coming back this time to commentate at the fights that's right yep he's going to be with I with think, joe with joe yep, yeah interviewing and doing all that stuff but he's he's got a corner he's also got an assistant coach to help him too okay but yeah so he's gonna come up he's super nice he's gonna be great wicked at it. nice guy yeah where's that accent from from uh for england is it yep i think he's english. Sure about that? i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty sure and he lives in new hampshire is it Maine. Maine. Mass. Maine. New I'm England. Not, I'm not sure. New England. Somewhere around. All right. I, I knew at one point. <laughs> and, then, and then hopefully we'll get him back for number eight, maybe? Yeah, ho hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. It would be great to have him back on. A pro fighter. Yeah. Busy schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going we're gonna to start things at 7 o'clock. Yep. 
That's when the fights start, yeah. We'll go until whenever the hell we go, which could be easily 10. Yeah, typically 11. It doesn't normally go any farther than that, but if they're all really good fights, then it'll it'll be a a good night. It'll be a little while. Yeah. Uh, Doors at 6. Yep. Barry Auditorium, Mm -hmm. Saturday night. Uh, For the folks that don't have tickets yet, let's not feel too badly for them because they have an opportunity still to get tickets right. uh general admission seats are 40 bucks uh trust me when i say it is well worth it you will be at at some point standing up and screaming punch him in the face you might even spill a little bit of your beer on yourself <laughs> but you, you're gonna have a great time you're gonna have a great time general admission seats you can get them at the door you can get them online right now until Friday at midnight. Right. And then I'm shutting off the online and you have to get them at the door. And Friday night until midnight is pretty late. So for the folks that get that wait till the last minute, they get on DonnieBrookFightPromotions.com. Mm-hmm. They get them late Friday night. Again, shutting it down at midnight. Where, where are their tickets going to be when they show up on Saturday? So they'll have the tickets if they um, are worried about it. They're is going to be an email confirmation that sends them their tickets. But then they can also just go to the check-in, and they'll have a little envelope with their name on it and all the tickets in it. All right. Yep. Easy. Easy yep. peasy. Check-in line. All right. So um, we're going to talk about available seats, too. But uh, you're, going to have two, you're going to have two lines. Yep. W- tell me about those. So one line is going to be just the check-in. So yep. everyone that bought their tickets ahead of time can just go find their seats, okay. maybe get some food and drinks or whatever. Right. Um, and then the second line is going to be for the people that haven't purchased their tickets yet. So okay. that line you can have cash, card, or PayPal. Cash, be av- card, or PayPal. Yeah. Okay. They'll all be available on there. All and right. um, I will hand the tickets to you, and you will have to then go into the check-in line. Okay. Yes. So it's going to take longer if you buy them at the door. Understand. <laughs> so... To put it politely, get your shit together yeah. and get your tickets as soon as you can. Especially if you want a floor seat because those might not be there when you get there. Right. Let's talk about the floor. You've got uh, just a, a few. And when I say a few, I mean literally yeah. a few front row. Yep. There's just a few left. How many? Like, <sighs> like a three, few. four, okay. maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, if you get on DonnyBrookFightPromotions.com, you can... You can see that Mm -hmm. and and see the price and all that uh you have do you have any second row seats we have a few second row i know that all of like section c was sold out chris perry 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 peralt 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 Peralt. however you say his name (laughs) he is selling out the house he's got so many tickets that he's already sold he kept asking me for more tickets like every other day yeah rex was telling me about that oh yeah he is a fan favorite he's i'm excited to see that fight wow uh third and fourth row um those are pretty much uh still available except for like the seating C, like I said before, like he sold out third row pretty much. But um, yeah, seating um, the third row and fourth row are pretty much available right now for purchase. Okay. Uh, just looking here. Uh, let's talk pay per view. CVT Sport. dot net slash Donnybrook. Yes. Let's say it again. CVT Sport. dot net slash Donnybrook for the pay-per-view. Yes, and Donnybrook has an E on the end of it, just yes. for those that don't know. We're going we're gonna to link it up right here. CVT Sport <clears throat> dot net. Yeah, and that's all thanks to Carl Parton. He does our live streaming and the production and stuff, and uh, I work with him so that we can get all his cameras where they need to be run in and all of his graphics they sent him over all the information he needs for the fighters and stuff all right and that's a and that's a dot com on the end right oh no yes it is cbtsport.net slash donnybrook got it got it right here yep we're good (laughs) what's the uh and i just dropped that in the comments so do we know what that costs what is it like 30 bucks something like that 
So right now it's nineteen ninety five. Ooh. But the night of the fights it will go up to twenty nine ninety five. Okay. Yep. So for twenty bucks mm-hmm. you can get a bunch of your buffoon friends together, have a couple of <laughs> beers at your house, throw shit, uh fight with each other if you want, and and, and watch the game. Or watch the watch the event. Watch yeah. the fight. Yeah. Watch if they can't even if they can't make it, if they're too far away, they can't find a hotel or something, right. just Whatever. pop that on. Watch it. You might need to get a laptop and an HDMI cord into sure. your uh, TV. Yeah. Because unfortunately, we don't have like an app or anything right now for yeah. the television. But um. Okay. Yeah. It's this is so exciting. Yeah, I know. It's so. What else are we forgetting? Are we forgetting anything else? I don't believe so. Rex, Brenda, anything? No. I think I we think... got everything. What's Rex doing? Is he uh, is is he home with the um? SpongeBob SquarePants uh, pajamas on right no, now. He didn't have his pajamas on when I uh, went there. No, um, I think he was. I think he was busy doing something. I can't. Really? He was busy doing something. I I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was busy before I got there. Um, oh, we should mention uh, merchandise, which you're wearing right now. Oh yes, T- yes. Talk to us about yes. it. Yes, um, we do have some merchandise. We got these nice crop sweatshirts. Yeah. I have on um, a ring girl Lexi had on the other day. Had to share that. It looks so cute on her. Maybe I'll put one of those on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it, will, it, it might look might look good on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you want me to get you some leggings to but go you, with it, too? <laughs> but, but you guys have uh, all kinds of stuff. All, mm-hmm. Hats and, and, and sweatshirts and, and everything. Um, well, we have these right now. We have um, black and white ones, I think, yeah. too. And gloves. Uh yeah, these yeah we got our own gloves too for yeah. the fights and stuff. So I can take pictures of them in it. It looks so much nicer when they're yes, yes, agree. In it. Yes, I see <laughs> that. I see that. Did you get a chance to see uh, Lily up there at uh, Granite City MMA? Um, I saw pictures of her up there. Yeah, she was up there training with Lucas. Yeah, I saw and, that. And, and Rex, it your was dad, cute. kicking his ass. I bet. She's going to kick everyone's ass when she's older. Oh, my God. I hope so. Please. <laughs> Please. Going to have to. Oh. She's so cute. Oh. Um, let's let's get some, let's hang out and, and get some photos and get Lily together and, and we'll, we'll we'll have Lily uh, zipping around on the porch. Yeah. We'll have to do that. Yeah. I want to start taking little pictures of uh, girls in like f- fairy tale dresses, if oh, that makes sense. We have sense. so many. So, mm. yeah, so I think that would be really cute. I want to start doing that type of stuff. That's so much. You love photography, don't you? I ha- Yeah, I've been doing it since I was little. So it's just I have my little digital cameras, and I got a few, um, like, more expensive cameras, but still not too expensive. And yeah. I got the old film cameras and stuff Do like you that. really? Do you still? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, you, you got a lot of exciting things on the horizon for you. Um in your early 20s. God damn, I wish I could go back. <clears throat> what do you mean? You're doing great right now. Yeah, I love this. There's a little podcast oh, going I uh, just love it. <laughs> uh, I'll see you um, Friday night. Yep. And, of course, uh, Big Ed's going to be up there, I'm sure, right? Yep. Friday night? I think so. All right. Ed Collins? Yeah. At Collins. Oh, yeah. He's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. When's he going to be getting back in the cage? Do we know? Um, I'm not sure. I uh, I haven't been around the gym as much. I've been focusing mm-hmm. more on work and stuff like that. But I'm not sure. I know he's helping um, one of the other girls that's at Granite City, Sophia. Yeah. She's actually going to Worlds, I think, for grappling. Or I think Rex did. Yes, Rex did mention that to yeah. me. Yeah. So she's going to be doing that. And that's Rex, really exciting. Rex m- said that the last time he was on the air here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. Lucas is working them, um, oh making sure she's getting in her rounds. <laughs> wow, she's gonna be a badass. Already is. I, well, I mean, yeah, but I can't even imagine if she ever starts fighting or anything like that. She's gonna take some names. I'll never forget when I went up to the to the old gym and I saw Sophia, mm-hmm. and. I, w- I looked at, uh, and that was years ago, man. And I looked at Lucas, and I was like, "Dude, if you know, no, no chance in hell, 
I'm a, over 200 pounds. I mean, there's just no chance in hell for that girl. And L- Lucas whispered into my ear, dude, she could kill you. <laughs> Stop laughing, Raylene. God. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Don't show her any choke holes. Yeah. Right. Oh, God, I know. Oh, she kicks me in the nads right off. <laughs> she knows. Me. Yeah. Soft spot and run. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming in here. You're Thank gonna you come again. Yeah. You'll be here again. You yeah. sure? Uh, yeah. If you have me, I'll we didn't. Have, we didn't scare you off. No, I'm good. Sweet. It's been nice sitting here. Say, uh, say hi to your dad for me. Hello, Dad. Well, no. When you see him. Oh. Well. <laughs> Tell him I'm gonna lick my hand and smack him on the top of his bald head. Oh my. <laughs>